Hi guys, so it's Saturday night. I'm going around to my friend's house for dinner, girly night, we're gonna hang out, gossip, do our nails, maybe do some henna, stuff like that, have a nice curry, eat some brownies, um, to have a good girly natter. So tonight I wanted to do a sort of, you know, like, um, nice makeup, a um, bit different to what I normally have at work, because obviously I see these girls at work. Um, and I was watching um, Kim and Chloe Tate New York, which I love, watch that today. Um, so, because you know, it's a Sunday night at 10 and I got Towie at 10, so I can never watch both at the same time. So normally I record Courtney and Kim Tate New York and then watch it the next week, on the weekend normally, because Matt doesn't really like it. So, um, I wanted to do a sort of look inspired by them, like a nice big smoky eye with lashes, like major contouring. Um, and keep the lips sort of neutral um, and stuff like that and uh, a bit bronzed so I don't know if you can tell this light washes me out because I've got a window here um, so I've got light here and shadow here but I've just put my fake tan on like not washed it off um, so my skin looks a lot worse than it actually is because when you put the tan on it sort of darkens all areas of new skin, skin that's healing, stuff like that, so it looks a bit... Okay, so I'm going to start off with foundation. I'm going to use the Maybelline Dream Creamy Foundation, and I'm going to put Anne using in some beige, because I've got fake tan on. Um, and I find it's fine to put fake, um, to put makeup over my fake tan, just you've got to make sure that it's really dried. Um, and I'm just going to pump some MAC strobe liquid into that and I'm applying it with my Sigma F80 while I'm buffing this in I just let you know what I'm up to I had a crazy week at work because um I had a couple of the girls off, so it was mad busy. Um, and uh, so I'm very glad it's the weekend. My brother's playing rugby today, but it's up in um, Birmingham, so I haven't gone. But thank you, like all of you guys who um, filled out his um, questionnaire on Survey Monkey, it was really nice. My hair's wet, by the way, so I'm just um, holding it out of the way while I buff my foundation in. Okay, now I'm going to use my um, Sephora crease brush number nine, and I'm going to pop on my Collection 2000 concealer number two, just under my eyes. And it's light, and that's good. Um, it will probably I probably wouldn't use it um, as I'm fake tan, but as Kim and um, sort of Courtney normally have quite light under eyes, quite light and bright. I thought I'd use this one. And when you're doing it, just make sure you buff it onto the tops of your cheeks. Send it out from the corner of your eye, buff it onto the tops of your cheeks, and also bring it down the sort of side of your nose, and just sort of make that triangle really highlighted like they do. Same on the other side. And me and Matty are going to go visit another um, wedding venue tomorrow. The venue we were interested in um, is actually having a wedding affair. Um, so that's cool. So we're going to get to see it how it would be, you know, if we were to get married there. Which I think is nice because it sort of helps you envisage the venue a lot better and you can imagine your day there more. I'm just using the um, Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette just to go over any areas of congestion. My skin's not actually that bad. I know it looked bad at the start but that is, it's really honestly guys the majority of it is the fake tan darkening it up. Um, my skin's not that bad. I haven't got really any new spots, it's just ones that are healing now. 
Don't you find like I often break out <sighs> hormonally, and uh, I find that by the time I, you know whatever it, whatever has erupted has healed. It's practically like my next period. Isn't that great timing? And now I'm just going to powder with Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder and my MAC 182. I need to get some new powder. But I'm just literally going to powder the centre of my forehead, corners of my nose, and on my chin. And sweet whatsoever's left over my eyes and across my cheeks. I've had quite dry skin at the moment, like... I don't know what happened last weekend. I tinted my eyebrows and stuff, and then literally my eyes, I thought I had allergy to something. My eyes went so dry. Like the skin around it was horrible. Right, to contour, I'm gonna use um, Rimmel Sun Love Bronzer. And this is my MAC 138. The number's rubbed off. Suck in my cheeks. I'm gonna go with this blush and it's um, from MAC and it is the Briar Rose Beauty Powder from the Disney. It's like a purpley undertoned pink on uh, a MAC 187. Just popping that at the back of my cheekbone. The back of my cheek. You know, you guys know what I mean. Pearl cream colour base. I love this. Look how much I've got left. <laughs> Hardly any. Do that under my brow. In the centre of my eyebrows. Above my brow bone there. Down my nose. And on my cupid's bow. Gonna pop on some MAC Painty Paint Pond. I'm just gonna do that with my finger. I'm just gonna pop that all over my lid. My brown smoky eye, I'm going to use the Sleek Nude Collection O Natural Palette, which has. Um, Amazing colours in it. Varying from some like really neutrals to really smoky. They've got black in there. It's an amazing palette. I, I could use it, you know, every day. If someone was to tell me this is the only palette you can have from now on, I would be... I don't know who makes this. Just got the word crease on it. And I'm going to take this really light iridescent shade at the top here. I've got pictures of this um, palette on my blog. And I'm just going to pop that in the um, tear duct and in the inner third of my eye. Just to bring some nice light in there. And then I'm going to take this brown and I'm going to use the matte brown. You want to get a small amount on the end of your brush. Just going to pop that across my lashes. And take it up. So it sort of goes like a V. Just for the meanwhile. And then smooth it out and I find that this is the easiest way to sort of keep it from going into a whole big splodge just like press it on first where you want it and then just lightly holding the brush at the end just glide it over and now I'm going to get this little brush which is sort of like a fake MAC 217 it's called the blend and contour brush it's from number 7 and I'm just going to use a tiny bit of the white 
like the tiniest bit and um, just pop it over the edge and I just have that, that really fun it helps to blend it out and I'm just going to get my MAC 266 and I'm going to go into um, the brown that I've been using and I'm just going to line my upper lash line with that so I've got a lot more definition on this eye as opposed to this eye and that's just using a powder I really like that and brown and um, powerpoint eye pencil and just tie line my eye so there's no skin peeking through when I pop my lashes on and I'm going to do my waterline as well lashes with Tweedeman eyelash curlers and just a fine um, coat Cover Girl Lash, Lash Blast Fusion. Brows, I'm going to use my MAC Penultimate Pen Ultimate Brow Marker. Give it a little shake. I was using my mum's lingering um, brow pencil from MAC earlier on today, which I really like too. And some duo lash adhesive on the back of them. This is the clear one. There we go. And finally I'm just going to use an old fave which is a um, MAC Floor Abundance Lip Gloss. Because they always wear a nude gloss. They either wear like a nude gloss or a, like a bright red or something. So Courtney does wear a bright red quite a lot. And you could line your lips or use a lipstick. But I just find this is so nice and sticky and opaque that it's. I hope you liked the um, tutorial, guys, and I haven't done one in ages. I hope you all have an amazing weekend and I will see you soon. Bye, guys. Oh, I'll put pictures and um, list of everything I use and stuff on my blog, so check that out if you want to see. Thanks, bye!